bed head. See my t-shirt? Oh, for fuck's sake. It's a good way to start the day. Comedy t-shirts. If you watch out in all my other videos, you might notice some more. We're indoors. This is the kitchen. It's getting there. We are getting there. This video is going to be the start. Obviously the other paraplegic progress video was letting you know what was happening. Today we had the physio bloke at bloody flies. I had the physio guy yesterday. He said I can use the standing frame every day. So I'm going to show you some exercises uh, on that. When he comes out Thursday, he's going to get me on the exercise bike. He wants to see how I get on it, but he doesn't want me to use it until he's seen me get on it and use it. And then he's going to say yes or no. So this is going to be the start of the series over the next months, years, who knows. But uh, it's just going to be a bit of progress. One of the biggest problems of being in a wheelchair is extra weight. Stop laughing, Tina. I can see your hair moving. Because Tina dishes up such big bloody portions. I'm blaming it all on her. No, we're both to blame because I like cooking and I like eating. Um, two combinations which are not very good. So we've downgraded to smaller plates. So I hope, but <laughs> we've not quite got the portions under control. They get in there, they're coming down, but not being able to exercise or exercise as much as you would do if he's walking about, it is a bit of a job getting the weight off. When I was in the Center I got down, wasn't it? 102. Yeah, but you lost a lot yeah. of weight in the hospital. I'd lost a lot of weight in the hospital. When I was in intensive care, they was feeding me like this milk stuff direct into my... Was it going in there? It's going into your veins. Into my... It was mm. pre-digested food. Pre-digested food. It was ever so nice. It looked like a bloody bag of emulsion hanging up next to the bed. Um, obviously, you didn't taste it. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so... I'd lost quite a bit of weight in hospital. I mean, I was a bit of a fat jabber beforehand, but not too bad, was I? Because we were working. I was overweight. Um, I'd got down to 102 kilograms. 100 kilograms is about six, 16 stone. Uh, I don't know about all you Americans, because it's all in pounds, isn't it? I'll have to do a little conversion and put it across the bottom. But yeah, I'd, I'd got down to 102 kilograms and I was getting a bit worried because I'd lost so much weight. But it, that was a good thing. But then obviously, when I came out of the rehab centre, I was at 118 kilos, so I'd put a lot of that weight back on. Um, now we're obviously a little bit more than that and I've got to lose some weight because that's obviously going to help with progression, with all the exercises and what have you. General life. general life it's not good being overweight being overweight it puts a bit of a strain on all your organs and bits and pieces and it's not good um, I've been thin and I've been fat and I'd rather be thin I think so without further ado we're gonna go through to the standing frame I'm gonna do some pull-up exercises to start with and then I'll get strapped on and we'll do some other exercises and uh, we'll just see how it goes and this is going to be like the first video in the series so we can look back in about six months time and say oh that's a bit of progress <laughs> so we'll see you through there this is the standing frame the physiotherapy guy said he'd never seen one like it and I mentioned that in the last video and he won't have done because dad made it we've got two bolts going up through the ceiling up through the roof joists <laughs> and bolted up. That's not going anywhere. It's screwed into the floor with about 30 screws. Steel, steel, rock climbing gear and a, and a linesman belt for climbing up telephone poles. So first thing 
he got me doing yesterday was just pulling up and then coming back down again. Um, and that's when he said, oh, your arms aren't very strong. Right, I'll breathe in so I don't look such a fat git. <sighs> Always come back down slowly. What's that look for? We'll only do this two or three times and then we'll get the belt on. Whew. I've got to be careful I don't go dizzy. Because I've not been on here for a long time, have I? Not consistently, no. No. And pause. Don't overdo it. You've got to take it nice and slow. I think now, when I come up, I'm going to uh, get Tina to put the belt on. And then I'll get her to drop the camera down so you can see what I'm doing on my legs. What's French for legs? Jambes. Eh? Jambes. Les jambes. I thought it was. Les jambes. Don't think we've got any French viewers. We might have. Les genoux. Huh? Les genoux. Yeah, I know that. Les genoux. He said, what's that? I said knee. He went knee, knee. 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 I said no, not the knights of knee. Knee, knee. He went knee, knee. <laughs> Bless He said about two of them. I went knees. <laughs> right, can you do the honours? We're going to get strapped on now. Are you ready? Uh-huh. Right. Up a little bit more, please. That's it. You can pull the wheelchair back. Yep. Right, so I'm strapped on. I can't go anywhere. This is the belt that they use when they're climbing up telephone poles. So what I do now is And relax. How many seconds was that? Um, I can't remember how many seconds he said. And the other leg. That was about four. And relax. Yeah, well he was feeling the muscles when I was doing it yesterday. Not so much in your left leg. No. But I can see that calf muscle. <sighs> and, right and relax. And now for something special. You said <laughs> You are sure I'm going to do it now. One leg, two legs. Look at that. I can stand up. I'm not so sure how long I can last. I am taking a bit of weight with my hands on the bar, but um, that's, that's a bit of progress, even from before, isn't it? Mm. I don't think I could do that before. I don't remember you being asked to do both legs. So I'll go back to doing one leg at a time and then uh, I'll see you through in the other room. So that was that little session in there, standing up. If you can see, I did it with both legs. Um, once I get my knees locked, I don't know if I'll be able to support my full weight because I was taking a lot of weight with my hands. Uh, it's very tiring. 
and being upright as well, it, it sort of sends you a bit lightheaded. I mean, I used to, at the old house, we had that frame in the kitchen, and I used, half hour, 40 minutes. Oh, yeah, easy. Easy. Um, if you don't use it, you lose it. So, because I've not been going on it, because the nurse advised not to until the physio broke us in us, and it had been, as we'd moved to the house, we we didn't have anywhere to put it up, but luckily Dad, I, was, I said to him, I was having a bit of trouble with my guts, a um, bit of constipation. Um, I don't normally suffer with my stomach or anything like that. It all seems to work quite normally. But um, I mentioned to Tina, I said, I think it might be a good idea if I could get stood up. So when Dad was over, I said, any chance of getting the old standing frame up? And we're just getting back into it gradually. 10 minutes here, 10 minutes there, and just being stood up right, I suppose all the blood just drains out of your head. Well, I don't suppose it drains out of your head, does it? It's, you're not used to being that way. It's, the, it's the altitude. Six foot four, stood up well, nearly six foot four. It's a lot higher than sat in his wheelchair. The air's a lot thinner up there. I keep telling Tina, she doesn't understand because she's a hobbit. <laughs> yes, your heart has to work harder to pump the blood round because you're not sat down. You go a bit light-headed. The first time I went on the standing frame in the centre, I passed out. I woke up and I was back in the wheelchair. And it's like, oh, how did that happen? I think I might have shit myself as well. Yeah, all right. You don't have to <laughs> <laughs> That's too much detail for this oh, family yeah. family channel. Oh, yeah, on many occasions, having to come in. Oh, all right, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So next, we're gonna skip forward to a few days time. We're gonna get the, the exercise bike. It's under cover over there. Tina got it in and um, it was in the bedroom and I did get on it, but then it got sort of put back into one of the corners of the rooms and where all the building materials was coming in and it just got buried and there wasn't really anywhere to use it. Um, we've got it in the kitchen now. Physio guy's gonna uh, come Thursday see me on that so we're gonna jump now to probably friday and get on the exercise bike and see what progress we can make on that see you friday this is how we get on the exercise bike yeah because the seat's higher <laughs> yeah well, i've got to get on it first <clears throat> Right, are you ready? Yep. One, two, three. Oh. Not quite. Not quite. Are you ready? Yep. One, two, three. Oh, a bit more to go. A tiny bit more, yeah. Not a lot. Are you ready? Yep. One, two, three. <laughs> that was the easy bit. Oh, that feels different. Do you need a hand? No, we're in. <laughs> Age? Four, I'm 42 now, aren't I? You are, yeah. Height? 195. Weight? 140. No, don't you're that heavy. 130. Yeah. 134. Let's do 130 kilos. Manual. Uh, number three to start with. Here goes. Oh, press. Oh, I can feel that in my legs. Now the seat's higher up, my legs are. Yeah. But he wanted it to go a bit higher, didn't he? Well, he said that. If you're cycling properly, you should be, um, legs should be extended quite a bit more. This is the exercise bike, folks. We're on it, we're pedalling. My pulse is working. We're at 74 beats per minute at the moment.
So I'm going to do this for about 10 minutes and I'll get back to you. I managed five minutes today, but that's coming straight off the standing frame. And you did a lot yesterday. Right, let's get, can you bring a chair please? Now, so it moved yesterday, didn't it? Can you hold the chair or something? Or was it the, what, the bike that moved? I think it was the bike. Yesterday the physio bloke came out, it's Friday today, as you all know, I've told you it was going yeah, blah blah blah. Physio bloke came out yesterday, he got me on the bike first. Um, he said we needed to lift the seat up, so he actually lifted the seat up when I got off it. He said try getting on that tomorrow. I've managed to get on it, it's a bit more tricky getting on it when the seat's up. But if the seat's not high enough, you're not stretching your legs out enough. I did that for about 10 minutes yesterday on a quite a low resistance, then he turned it up. So you start off slow, you build up the resistance and then and then you wind it back down. So we drop the resistance and then it's like cooling off type thing. Then we went through to the standing frame and I found that quite hard work after the push bike. So now we can do the standing frame exercises on our own every day. We can do the exercise bike on our own every day. This morning I've just been on the standing frame and I think my legs are quite tired out from yesterday, from the session that we had, because he took me through onto the bed, did some resistance stuff, exercises, massaging and all that kind of thing. So this morning I found it quite hard work on the standing frame, still did it, managed to lock my legs, and then come straight through onto the bike and I could really feel it in my legs. So I think what we're going to do is we'll do the standing frame exercises in the morning, we'll do the exercise bike in the afternoon. Uh, he said do that six days a week and have one day off so that's where we're at at the moment this is sort of like the first video of doing the exercises i would say it's not day one because you know but it's the first video that i'm going to put into the playlist showing the first sort of lot of exercises that we can do on our own uh, as we progress with the other exercises you might get tina to help me do those but for now all those exercises that we do on the bed um, it's just to do with the physio at the moment so we've got the standing frame and the exercise bike that should keep us occupied for quite a while I'm gonna go for a lie down now <laughs> no I'm not we're not far off lunchtime so yeah hope you like this video uh, please click the thumbs up if you do that pushes our videos up as you all know you know Subscribe if you haven't already. <laughs> and from me and Tina, sat over there. <laughs> Ignore the mess of the kitchen, we're still renovating. It's bye for now. Oh, I forgot. Onwards and upwards.